I find my appointment is not until one o'clock. That means I can drink more coffee and take my time walking there to the bus place depot. Five dollar bus pass. Now I'm Filipino. I am Russian. From Russia. Russia may take over Hawaii. I got a feeling this kind of this whole island might be occupied by a nation other than the United States, and I'm not gonna like them. Either Russian or North Korean. But um anyways. Russia. But uh my appointment is not until one o'clock. I walk about five miles to purchase my five dollar two month bus pass. Disability bus pass. Normally bus pass costs seventy dollars a month. For me, five dollars for two months. See look here. See, it also has my picture on it. See, picture. See over here. What I'm saying. Yes, indeed, it's very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, now I'm talking like Borat. Huh? Okay, let's cut the thing. My appointment's not until one. <coughs> I'm gonna go get my teeth cleaned, which is a good thing. So now when I'm substitute teaching, the kids can't be like, "Hey, your teeth are yellow." Or they can, but they'll be like, hey, they used to look way worse, motherfucker. They'll be like, don't call me motherfucker. I was like, I'll call you motherfucker every day, bitch. And then the parents will be like, you're fired. I'm like, oh, okay. Actually, I wouldn't do that. Oh. I don't dab and I don't nene. But, uh, I drink coffee and I'm pretty fucking water. I just started drinking coffee. Recently this year, I stopped smoking tobacco, all cigarettes and tobacco this year. Nicotine is a stimulant. And uh, coffee, obviously, of course, is a stimulant as well. Caffeine. Okay, um. But the uh, point is, my appointment today at the dentist for the teeth cleaning is not until 1. So, I'm not going to eat until then. It's like 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning. I'm going to clean up my apartment and stuff. But um, I'm going to walk five miles there to buy my $5 disability bus pass. Like, oh, you disabled you. Hey, okay, I'm not disabled, all right? But I know a doctor who writes bus passes, like, he helps out. He's a socialist, basically. And he, and he wants people that, like, he knows it's hard to live in Hawaii if you don't have money. And uh, most of the people he deals with are, like, felons and people that have, like, hardcore issues. I look better like that, huh? But, uh, <laughs> but uh, most of them are like felons and people with hardcore issues. And so uh, I'm not like that, but I know those type of guys. I don't live that kind of life, but I know those guys that live that kind of life, as I say in Hawaii. And uh, I uh, came across this doctor, and so I visit him. And he knows I'm like just there for the bus pass. But I talk, tell him my problems. Like sometimes I'll stay here in this apartment if I'm not working or anything for a couple of days and I won't leave. But I will be productive around here, you know, and I, it's not like a total agoraphobia, it's just like being extremely cautious and not wanting to go out at night and not getting, there's a lot of like crime and stuff around this Waikiki area, believe it or not, especially at night. But, um, so uh, the plan today is I'm going to have a long walk there. I could try to get on a bus and use this pass, which I easily could, I did it yesterday, but I kind of like look forward to the walk. I didn't go on a run this morning, um, so there's that. And uh, I am gonna do some lifts before I leave. I'm gonna work on my arms before I go. Like I'll work on my arms before like a long walk is a good idea. But um, yeah, I've been doing that like every day this year. Uh, what else? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get this bus pass. It only costs five dollars for two months, so it helps me out. Normally a bus pass costs seventy dollars, so this is like a hundred thirty-five dollars savings for a two-month period. 